So in my other video, if you haven't checked that out, check that out first, is that I filmed a little B-roll and then I noticed once I increased the aperture, there was something in the corner and I'm like, oh, that's a piece of dust. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you get rid of that and how you actually clean, whether that's your D5200 or it's your, let's say mirrorless camera. Super simple, stay tuned. First, what you wanna do is you wanna go and grab your camera. This is the Nikon D5200, as you can see right here. Make sure it's off, lens release, click, twist. Now, is you want to grab one of these guys. Link is in the description below. If you want to check it out, it is just a dust air blower. As you can see, it takes in here, squeeze, and what that does, instead of you actually blowing and putting spit or you know water damage into your lens or your camera, this is you know very safe solution. And as well as there are kits that you can check out that they have like microfiber cloths, as well as specifically designed plastic Q-tips. So once you do that, turn your camera. And sometimes all you need to do is just clean your image sensor digitally. And then if there's still dust or like weird things in your pictures or videos don't look clear, what you wanna do is you wanna click click down to setup menu, lock up mirror for cleaning. Click that, hit start. And it'll tell you, once you press the shutter button, it will open and you can reveal the sensor. Cause this right here, doesn't really matter if it's dust, right? It's just the protective cover since it's a reflective lens, hence it hits here and goes up. But anyways, not, not yapping. Press here. And that right there is the lens. So what you do is you grab your little dust air tool. Don't actually put the uh, dust blur onto the lens. Make sure it's like an inch or two away. And then you wanna just go to town. And that, for the most part, looks like a clean lens. Turn it off. The flecked part will come down and then you put it back on your lens. And now your D5200 is ready to go for shooting, right? But you're like, how do I do this for a mirrorless? So right here is my Nikon Z50. I have the 50 to 250 millimeter lens on it. I'm gonna have a video, do some street photography with this. Check that video out. If it's not up yet, stay tuned. But as you can see, the difference between a mirrorless and a DSLR is there's not that reflective mirror, right? The sensor is straight on. And if you actually look, you can try to see if there's any dust. You don't need to go into the menu. Same thing applies. Grab your little tool. Make sure you have a clearer look at it and the proper way to use this is, yes, you can go like this, but you wanna have a firm grip on it. And the thing with DSLRs is because there is that little reflective mirror there is that it acts as more of a shield. Whereas the mirrorless, if you're constantly changing out your lenses, it's much easier to get dust in this thing. So you, what you also wanna do is make sure you'll be blowing your lenses, you know? Put your lens back on. And a good way to test whether or not your lenses are still dusty or you still have that is take a photo, take a video, right? And crank your aperture, your f-stop, all the way up as high as it can go. and try to see if there is any sort of dust particles because the higher the aperture is, the more you can see literally everything that is on that sensor of yours. Don't check my other videos yet. My name is Peter. We all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys.